good morning students today we are going to understand what are what is the major difference between anaphase 1 and anaphase 2 of meiosis meiosis as you know it is been divided into meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 in meiosis 1 at the metaphase stage homologous chromosomes will be aligned at the equatorial plate i have shown one homolog pair one homologous chromosome containing two chromosomes there now what happens is during metaphase stage listen carefully to the kinetochore of the chromosome to one chromosome only one spindle fiber attaches when it comes to anaphase stage shortening of spindle fiber occurs so if you apply pressure from one side only one chromosome is pulled towards one pole so that's what happening in anaphase one since one chromosome is attached to one spindle fiber there will be separation or segregation of homologous chromosome occurs that is in anaphase one now let us compare it to anaphase two of meiosis meiosis two in its metaphase stage which comes before anaphase metaphase two chromosomes will be at the equatorial plate to each chromosome now from the opposite now from the centriole two spindle fibers attach now compare in pre anaphase one to one homolog pair total two spindle fiber or to one chromosome one spindle fiber but when it comes to anaphase two or in the previous metaphase stage to a single chromosome there will be two spindle fibers attaching at the both at both the ends so when the spindle fibers shorten up what happens is there will be a splitting of the centromere centromere divides and it is as the spindle fiber shorten chromatids move to the opposite pole whereas in anaphase one homologous chromosome move to the opposite pole hence you can consider anaphase two is similar to the mitosis and when the chromatids are moving or when the homolog chromosome homologous chromosomes are moving remember centromere is on, always facing towards the pole i hope you have got the difference between anaphase one and anaphase two thank you for watching